<laughs> Folks, that morning we were in a hurry to get in time on board of this catamaran yacht or boat. As the writing on it accurately implied, yes, we were heading to the Sakharun beach on the island of Dugiotok. Hopefully it was gonna be a sweet escape. Ah, huh, Dogo. Still boarding. Okay. Finally moving, but not for long, because we stopped again to pick up some more of the beachgoers. And eventually it was, yes, pedal to the metal. Already had passed through that narrow strait and then was heading towards the Bojava village and from there we were gonna be transferred by bus to the actual beach. We had never been there before, so we were kind of excited. The blue dot represents the position of my phone at that time. Engines completely turned off solely using the remaining inertia to get to the pier. So the first phase of the trip was successfully completed so far, so good. Cicadas were playing their recognizable tune because the hot summer weather was back in again after a brief period of cool from a few days earlier. 
I assume those dishes are delicious. We didn't try any of them. We got our breakfast and lunch boxes handed to us on board of that catamaran. All included in the price of 45 euro per person. No hot meal this time, but we got like one apple and one banana each as a dessert, I guess. Borzhava is a cute and picturesque fishing village, no doubt. We were still waiting for a moment when, oh here it is, when the guide girl would take us on a short walk to the bus station on the main road, where from we'd be transferred to the beach, or as closer to it as possible. Here's the location of the said bus station and it's like a I don't know 10 minutes drive to the beach actually it is an additional 10 minutes walk from this <laughs> from this end or exit station up on the main road so uh, Let's get going. I realized it's not a sandy beach, it's a pebble beach, but the sand is in the water. Or perhaps it all depends on if it's a high tide or low tide cycle, whatever. There's a huge pile of well-rounded, well-polished pebble and stone at the margins, that's for sure. The beach infrastructure, logistics, and other visible arrangements seem to be quite basic and minimal, but functional, I suppose. Definitely not a fan of porta parties, but hey, if you walk far, far away, you might want to do it the original, genuine style, same as rabbits and foxes do.
we were looking for a shaded spot to occupy and on this side the thick pine forest provided it for us. It was a midday high noon time of the day and we definitely needed that protection from the strong sunshine. After some time spent in the water and subsequent sitting in the shade I got kind of a bored so I embarked on a short walk along this hiking trail which was marked by that uh, depiction of mongoose paw supposedly they inhabit these islands just the cute little creatures that run away from humans okay jedan sat 15 minuta imate ovdje u stazicu i okolo je samo ova makija i got some unclear and vague impression that this entire place even though frequently being visited by tourists but still it had some uh, original unspoiled unused feel about it and uh, yeah that, that's the dichotomy of it far beyond an open sea of the Adriatic I couldn't think of anything I should have either said or wrote, so I decided to walk back. Whoa! Snorkeling session finished. We packed our stuff and were leaving. Dragi gledatelji, evo, tri i po sata popodne. I recorded some ancient olive trees while we were waiting for the bus to transfer us back to the village.
The time was running fast, as the time usually does, you know, the same speed always. And we had like one hour approximately until 5 p.m., which was the time schedule set for the catamaran to depart from this village and to carry us back to the mainland. We should have stayed in the village for the night and then left in the morning next day. You need at least 24 hours to be able to get to know some place and to feel its vibe. A modern day tourist's behavior is taking pictures, recording videos, and then posting those online, the whole time staring at the screen of their phone. They instead, myself included, ought to be focused more on the real world around us rather than the image of it on the screen. <laughs> 